rapidly increasing electricity prices, the economic impact of load shedding and significant decreases in the price of renewable energy have resulted in more and more people installing small-scale embedded generation or SSEG systems. These are generators usually from solar PV, uh, basically having a solar system on your roof and these can be less than one megawatt in size. So they're connected to your electricity system in your house and you're able to feed back electricity onto the grid at the same time. With uh, the growing load shedding that we are seeing in the country and the expected um, uh, electricity price uh, increases in the, next, in the next coming years, we foresee that quite a lot of uh, customers uh, across all the customer segments, residential, commercial and industrial, they will continue to, to adopt uh, these SSG systems onto their facilities. So there's been an increase in electricity prices over the years and people would like to reduce the costs associated with purchasing electricity. Many customers, especially residential customers, install solar PV to reduce their carbon footprint because solar PV is a carbon-free generating source of electricity. Or some customers install solar PV with battery storage to have resilience in the case of load shedding. But as beneficial as they are for people, the economy and the environment, if SSEG customers do not adhere to the rules set out by municipalities, there can be severe implications for the network and the safety of its users. A key characteristic of a small-scale embedded generation system is that it is able to feed back excess electricity onto the grid. And this excess electricity being fed back onto the grid could have um, implications on how the grid or network actually operates. So it's very important that municipalities conduct grid impact studies when they accept the installation of these SSEG systems. Some people install their systems illegally or go off-grid to avoid the additional admin and time it takes to receive approval. So to avoid this, it is important to have an easy and fair application process for customers to adhere to. The reason why the SSEG program is so important is that so many aspects need to be addressed to realize and let SSEG happen. There's some technical aspects to make sure the network is strong enough to allow for the SEG. We have financial implications for the municipalities that are going to sell less electricity and hopefully buying excess electricity from the utility. And this all needs to happen within the legal bounds of, of the South African context. And all of these things need to be addressed and the program has really helped to do exactly that. We started with this program on the SSEG uh, under the Sajen uh, with partnership from the TMRIE uh, the Center for Scientific and Industrial Research, um, but also working with our implementing partner, Sustainable Energy Africa. Tariff design has been a real issue in the space and customers often feel that they don't want to pay for the use of the network when they have their own generators, but the grid still needs to be maintained to their house, even if they're drawing less energy from the grid. So they still need to pay for this network maintenance in the form of a fixed monthly charge. It's challenges like these that have put municipalities in the position where they've had to redefine their role in the electricity value chain and adapt their business models. To deal with these challenges, industry stakeholders came together, SALGA, the GIZ, the DMRE, to put together the Municipal SSEG Support Program to assist municipalities in dealing with embedded generation on their networks. So they identified embedded generation as a key action to reduce emissions in South Africa. The reason why we've got a programmatic approach is because it's not a once-off event and then we're done. SCCG is very dynamic in terms of its technology. Legislation and regulation and guidelines are dynamic in its changes. And with this program, we keep up to date with these changes and we improve as we go. As a member of our program, municipalities are able to get more knowledge on how exactly they can implement small-scale embedded generation systems safely. They're able to get more guidance on how exactly they can assess the applications that customers put through for the installation of these SSEG systems. They are also uh, a member of a larger network of municipalities that are able to work together to devise solutions to deal with these SSEG installations. From 2019 to 2021, we have trained um, a total of 70 municipal distributors um, so far. And as I said, we look forward to train more. We have got over 160 municipal distributors in the country. 
meaning that we are at around plus or minus 42% of the municipal distributors that we've trained and we look forward to many more other municipalities to come to the board and join the program because um, SSG is unavoidable, customers will continue to install um, rooftop solar PV. Hence, Minix must be part of this program and must have processes in place to allow and accommodate SSG in the distribution network. Of those municipalities, there's actually a group of those that actually has SSG tariffs, which means they reimburse people that's actually exporting electricity, which is also one big benefit and something we want to push for the SSG program. Six regional training sessions have been held so far with hundreds of municipal staff members trained to date. Dedicated time is put aside so that municipalities can develop an action plan to take forward their ideas and support needs around small-scale embedded generation. COVID did have an impact on the program. We had to halt all in-person trainings and we shifted it online. We built an online training portal for municipalities. We developed videos with quizzes and shifted all meetings to online. So that gives us that uh, um, leeway to train as many municipalities as possible. In 2021 alone, we've got over 30 municipalities. Um, that was 27 new municipalities, um, plus or minus nine that were actually coming for the second time because this is a very good program such that many other municipalities, they wish to um, attend this program not once but many times because there is value in this program that municipalities are getting and we um, acknowledge that. As a member of the program, municipalities have a wide range of resources that are available to them. These uh, resources are hosted on our website, which is www.sseg.org.za. Uh, on this portal, you have access to uh, municipal bylaw templates, policy documents, instructions on how to conduct grid impact studies, as well as how to commission any SSEG installation systems that are available. This current SSEG program is mainly targeted on one megawatt, but in future we'll start seeing bigger systems uh, coming into the grid, where we'll also have to come up, maybe design a similar program, but mainly looking at your system that can go up to 100 megawatts. The rapid adoption of small-scale embedded generators has forced municipalities to adapt quickly. But in doing so, it has also given municipal distributors and customers alike the opportunity to play a proactive role in shifting the country's energy landscape for the better. The Municipal Small Scale Embedded Generation Development Support Program is helping them do just that, ensuring South Africa continues to transition to a cleaner, greener energy system and a more sustainable future for all.